account ni Don Karin de Villa Series Plus. <coughs> That's my Coco. <laughs> Today we'll make something new. This is Vietnamese meatballs. It's time to bring out our mandolin rainis. So I'm now cutting some carrots. So we're gonna make our pickled veggies first. It can be carrots, cucumber, or jicama. Always be careful when using mandolins. Use the hand guard to protect your dainty little fingers. So now that we have thinly sliced carrots, we'll cut them into thin strips. Julienne. Julienne San Jose. Place your carrots in a bowl and we'll add some vinegar. Next we'll add some sugar. Add a pinch of salt and mix everything together. We'll set this aside for now. We'll prepare our meatballs. In order to have a moist meatball, we'll combine breadcrumbs and milk. Next, we'll mince some garlic. Combine your mushed uh, breadcrumbs with your 
ground pork. Let's add our minced garlic. We'll add fish sauce or patis. Next, we'll add some sugar. Then we'll add salt. Then we'll add some spring onions. Mix everything together. Next, we'll add some freshly ground pepper. And sprinkle some chili flakes. Before forming your meatballs, be sure that you wet your hands. One thing nice about this dish is that you can prepare the meatballs ahead of time. So if you're going to have guests on Saturday night, you may prepare the meatballs on Wednesday and then put everything in the freezer. Just make sure you're using Ziploc or any airtight container. So for the meatballs that you're going to cook and eat, please put it in the chiller for 30 minutes at least. So let's cook our meatballs on medium heat. Let's cook our meatballs uh, maybe 2, 4, 6, 7. For a small pan like this, maybe 7 will do or 8. Just don't overcrowd your pan. Place your cooked meatballs in a bowl with paper towels to absorb the excess oil. Thank you. 
So for presentation, grab some lettuce, get some meatballs, add some mayo. I'm using Japanese mayo here. And we'll add some chili sauce. We'll top our meatballs with coriander leaves. Now it's time to eat. Now this is your perfectly splendid Vietnamese meatballs. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week.